Have you ever been in that super relatable situation where you were internet dating a super famous actor who's on one of the biggest shows of all time, but he was in a really public relationship with an international supermodel, so you guys had to keep it secret, but then over time he told you he was ready to leave his girlfriend to be with you, so you divorced your husband and also you sent him $10,000? Who can relate? Like, <laughs> come on. Well, you haven't done that? Today we're going to be talking about this story that went insanely viral yesterday and still today. At the time of recording this, Popcrave tweeted out this story like 18-ish hours ago and it had 33 million impressions last time I checked. That is a lot of impressions in less than a day. I had never heard about this before they tweeted it out, but the video is actually three months old. I'm sure everyone's familiar with famous MTV show Catfished. Well, there's a YouTube version that is not the same people, but it's the same. Yeah, it just blew up. So I have resisted watching this um, because I knew I wanted to film a video talking about this. Are we gonna kiss? I felt exactly like what I thought it would. <laughs> Okay, let's watch it. <laughs> catfishing's catfishing's times are occurring. Let the catfishing, Let the catfishing begin. begin. Why am I scared? I am obsessed with Stranger Things. Right, right, right. This is going to be very parasocial. I can see where this is going. I'm already so scared. I do want to say something. I think it's important to make sure we acknowledge that catfishing is really shitty. And the person who did this to this girl sucks for doing this. And none of us should like be on his side, right? But also, in this big year of 2023, I am constantly baffled by the lack of like internet literacy. Like truly in this day and age. In this day and age how are you getting catfished at all but especially by a celebrity we have now had social media in a real serious way for over a decade online dating has been pretty normal for like around the same time got really really normal in the last like five or six years you didn't try to like facetime this person once talk on the phone get them to prove their identity somehow you never met up like and i'm saying all this before i watch maybe she's gonna like you know address some of this let's continue two met on a forum over a year ago but have never met in person she is now having doubts about everything after funding dacre's life for over a year oh she was sugar mommying him wait let me read this hello everyone my name is michaela and i'm incredibly excited to connect with fellow filmmakers who share the same passion for the art of filmmaking i'm currently seeking creative collaboration opportunities and i believe that together we can create something truly remarkable if you're as passionate about filmmaking as i am i invite you to join forces and embark on an inspiring journey together let's bring our ideas to life make an impact through the power of film love the vibes love a filmmaker seeking connections and collaboration an unfortunate truth about the filmmaking industry is that there's a lot of predators people who are predators on people who are chasing the dream on the flip side of that there's a lot of people who want it so badly that they themselves are vulnerable to manipulation and believing things so Dacre claimed he needed money until he broke up with his girlfriend and this Dacre Montgomery does not need money he was a series regular on a hit show also wasn't there that that article that said he got paid like hundred and fifty thousand dollars per episode like he does not need ten thousand dollars it's the only way he would be able to finally leave her to be with Michaela. My name is Kayla, a single mom from Kentucky. I have a daughter who's about to turn seven. She joined a forum where she could meet other creative people. Reddit, where all good things go to die. <laughs> but I will say this kind of like, this kind of Reddit for like actors and filmmakers, super common, honestly, super helpful. Lots of resources for people, but there's also a lot of BS. And apparently there's also Dacre Montgomery um, running through the pages looking for a girlfriend. This guy messaged me. He was under a different username. Hi there. Me and him get to kind of talking and then he Hello. admits that he is an actor, like a well-known actor. I'm actually a celebrity that you might have heard of. Riz game, non-existent. He tells me that he's Dacre Montgomery. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm actually Dacre Montgomery from Stranger Things. You know how you introduce yourself with one of the jobs you used to have? That's like one of my favorite actors. And me and him just really hit it off, but of course I'm suspicious from the get-go until he starts doing- Okay, I was about to be like, you weren't immediately- you're like your BS meter wasn't immediately going off. Things that make me believe that he is who he is. Yeah, let's hear this. 
give it to Upon us. Upon receiving an email from Michaela, we arranged a call with her to delve deeper into the matter. Help! I don't know if this is a scam or not, but I believe I may be speaking to Digger Montgomery. I've sent him money because his current girlfriend is controlling his bank accounts, but I'm starting to have doubts about him. Can you help me? Thank you. Oh, I just, I don't know. Like, I really... I don't want to just bash on this girl because something horrible happened to her. Like, I feel so bad that she was in this situation. But I'm also sitting here like, I truly, I don't think that I would be able to find myself in this situation. And so I'm like, my, I'm having an internal battle of like empathy, but then like complete and utter, huh? I don't know. I, my spirits are fighting in my brain. Our primary objective was to understand the underlying reason driving Michaela to think that this was the real Daker. That's I, what we want to know. Billy is just this bully. He kind of comes in, tries to dominate, which is totally unlike his actual personality. What's the reason that, that, that you guys aren't able to meet face to face? Yeah. Well, see, okay, that's one thing that we actually bonded over. And basically through the relationship, he was venting to me after I'm a so few tired months of my about girlfriend. his partner saying she's very controlling of him. And I kind of empathize with that because my ex-husband was that. At about a year after we kind of admitted feelings for each other. So they've been talking for a while and then admitted their feelings for each other and then kept talking for another year? There's nothing like, you know, the feeling of love when it's reciprocated. And I said, what? And he said, I'm indirectly asking you out what do you mean asking me out? and he said i want you to be my girlfriend i'm gonna go ahead and say long distance relationships are a hundred percent valid but big butt here if you've never seen this person's face speak and words come out that are directly answering things that you just said to them face to face whether that's through a screen or in person i'm gonna go ahead and say you should not date them until that happens is that crazy is that too much of a blanket statement I don't think so. And he was just like, but you got to keep it quiet. He said, because, you know, I'm still with Liv. And he was like, but I'm not technically with her. He said they had broken up. He said they've been broken up for about six months. When I went back into his past history, like on his Instagram and things, they mm. weren't doing Valentine's Day posts. They weren't doing birthday posts. The only thing that I have seen in the last two years recently was a thing where she was posting about their five-year anniversary. A couple things here. The only thing you've seen them post is about their five year anniversary. That's not like, well, it's just this one little thing. And also, this may help you be convinced that these two people are not together, but none of this is doing anything to convince that this is actually Dacre Montgomery that you're talking to. Like, I could see her argument being like, oh, I was being convinced that Dacre Montgomery, the human, was, uh, excuse me, not with his girlfriend anymore, maybe. That's a stretch already. But that has literally nothing to do with the, the person you are messaging being Dacre Montgomery. A year of not talking to somebody on the phone is very long time, Michaela. I kind of understood because he said where she was so controlling of him and he couldn't get away from her like she's glued at his hip. No, 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 I'm not buying that. 24 hours a day, seven days a week for over a year and you don't have a single moment to call someone. Be serious right now be serious right now what what empathy empathy this girl was tricked she is a victim after communicating with him for months Michaela had to make a choice it was either her husband or Dacre also sorry regardless of if this was a celebrity or not this is like objectively a shitty thing to be doing while you're married with a kid regardless like even if you were just talking to like anyone and that person was in a relationship and you are married with a kid emotionally cheating on your respective partners that sucks regardless of the catfish situation after we had been together for a little while he gave me an ultimatum he said listen he said it's either your husband he said or it's me we aren't we haven't been together i don't even know and I said, look, there's no competition. I said, you treat me better. So I told my, you know, I told my ex-husband, I said, listen, I said, it's not working out. I said, you're not letting me be me. You're not letting me be free. I said, I think you need to leave. So he left. Within two months, he was gone. I said, I'm separated from him. I said, now it's your turn. Dacre had agreed to leave his girlfriend to be with Michaela, but we wanted to know what exactly was making her think that this whole thing was real. When Stranger Things right, season right. four came out, the day before he texted me and he said, hey, you need to watch episode four. And when it came out the next day and he showed up in that episode and I was like, well, who else would know that? All right, now let's go on handy dandy IMDB, Stranger Things, 
Dacre Montgomery credits. This shows every episode that he's in and definitely would be publicly available the day before a show drops. So as you can see here, season four, episode four, he's listed. Also, the episode is literally called Dear Billy and episode titles are released before, like season five already has episode one title is out. And then here in November of 2021, the episode titles for season four were released. And you can see episode four is called Dear Billy. So that's not the gag that uh, she thinks it is. Oh my God, I'm sweating. <gasps> okay, let's get back into this. Poems that he was sending me. Wash away my obsessive pain. No more hiding in the shadows of shame. Come on, chat GPT. Go along with things like what he, ha his style of writing. And so that's another thing that kind of confused me. Why does this famous guy need money from you, Michaela? Right. See, I wonder right. that too. And then he explained it. He said, well, he said, if I try to use my bank account, she's over it. He said, it's, you know, joint. He said, so she keeps all the stuff. And he said, so I would have to ask her all the time. I might need a little help with money, my queen. Liv has control of all the accounts and I don't have access. I swear, if this goes classic scammer and he's like, go to Target and buy gift cards and then like, give me the code for them or something, I'm... It's gonna be real hard to keep that empathy bubble from popping. Would I be able to ask you to help me here and there if I decided to, you know, separate from her? Dude, if Dacre Montgomery left his girlfriend, she would not keep his money. That's not how money works. Like, that's not how that works. And I said, well, I can't help much. I said, but I can help a little bit here and there. Oh, this poor Before girl. I knew it, it was turning into $100 and $200 gift card. <laughs> 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 Not the gift cards. This is scam 101. Oh my God. Oh my God. Michaela, you're gonna have to fight for your life to get me back on your side right now. The thing is, when I tallied it all up, it was 10,000-ish dollars. Oof. Dacre promised Michaela he would pay all of the money she sent to him. Right, He wanted right. to disconnect from his girlfriend, Liv, and claimed he needed to open up another bank account without her knowing until the relationship completely ended. He would even send her money in the form of gift cards and checks. No. Basically, he would get the gift cards, like how I used to do, like, um... Let me guess. The checks bounced or something. I would get gifted gift cards and stuff all the time, and I would sell them for less than what they were worth. What? Wait, is this a normal thing? Am I missing something about gift card transaction gifting and currency? I don't do this all the time. Maybe I'm missing something, honestly, here. Like, please tell me if this is like a normal thing. And I would, you know, pocket the money. Well, that's kind of what he was doing. He said that he was going to start doing that so he could have a little bit of money for himself. Like, if it was like a $200 gift card, he'd sell it for like 100 Who's buying a $200 gift card for $100? And who's selling a $200 gift card for $100? And now you understand why I had to contact you guys because I'm like, it's not the typical scam. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is raising every scam alert that my security systems are equipped with. Okay. Um, it's unique. I mean, there's a lot of red flags here. Yeah. It doesn't look the yeah. best. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. That 1% is still that hopeless romantic that's just holding on to maybe this is the gentle guy I've been looking for, you know, and maybe he is real. This might be a gentle guy, but it's not Dagger Montgomery. And he's definitely scamming you. He's gotten 10,000 of your dollars. I think one of the most compelling parts of this case was the fact that he had details on Stranger Things season four. I, I just Googled that in five seconds. That's not a compelling detail. Also, I'm so sorry. Sorry for this pause. I just did you really dirty. I mean, it follows like a lot of the signs of romance scams. They're just tar trying to target younger people. We saw a lot of the conversations. They were very surface level types of conversations. So things already weren't going that well like beforehand. That's actually so true. None of the conversations were like about anything. And I'm sure they like talked more maybe, but to be like in that deep to where you would send this person thousands of dollars and leave your husband, who granted she did say was not, you know, a good partner. Maybe she should have left him regardless, but to get in that deep with someone just over messaging and really shallow conversations. Obviously, she was in a very vulnerable position, which is always where it comes back to like, this sucks that this person is taking advantage of this girl. It's so hard to imagine just like being able to believe this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel so bad for her, but I also like do not feel bad for her. There's this one chat in particular where he was telling her about his day and that he made lasagna. Okay, they're doing a little investigating and they've chosen this lasagna photo for some reason. They're gonna like reverse 
first image search this it's gonna be like from a tasty recipe or something pretty good from i'm like thinking tasty.com. i can just run a reverse image search and see right martha stewart lasagna <laughs> that exact photo <laughs> there yeah there's a picture of a check that i think that it's worth digging into and what's interesting is that it's a check made from her to her we For gotta run a search on this 354 matches now whoa so it turned out to be fake Oh, absolutely. No, yeah. actually, that wasn't the most compelling factor. The reason she truly believes she's talking to Baker is the fact that he leaked the season four, episode four title to her. That's not... I think we can. Just Google it. It was out. I already did this. I could work for yeah. you guys. That was published November. I am an investigative journalist. Like, I already found this out. You can't get anything past me. Like, I did this Googling. Could have easily found this. No, he did easily exactly. find that. We have answers today, and we have a conclusion. Well, in a perfect world, it would be true. Well, it's not true, girl. I'm gonna first start off with some facts on Baker. So he makes around $150,000 per episode of Stranger Things. Yep. And yep. they do about eight episodes. I mean, he's not hurting for money. But what his excuse that. was, we have a joint account and she every time I try to make a purchase, she tries to take it back. We want to go over his relationship with Liv. We found that they've been together since 2017. Mm -hmm. um, he told me that they broke up. That is actually like such a stunning couple. Like if I saw them, I would bark. And he also told me she was supposed to be moving to his apartment. January of the following year, 2021, mm. he did not. Uh, so that was the first red flag. The first? No, that was the 19th red flag in this entire saga. I think it was one of their friends had posted a photo of in their new house in LA. And when I confronted him about it, he was like, oh, well, you know, pretend and we have to make 9 million people or whatever think that we're or else someone's gonna know something's wrong. Dude, she was living her YN fantasy. Like this was a Wattpad story come to life. Like this is a fan fiction and she was caught up. She was caught up, down, left and right. <laughs> Says a completely different story. You know, we found articles all over the internet that shows that they, they have a healthy relationship. We do wanna dive into some of the searches that we ran. Can you tell me more about what the backstory on the check is? Okay, so he had been paid apparently and he had his accountant send uh some money and a check and he said can you get it cashed for me oh my god this is so this is a classic scammer and he said well if it gets put into this account and he is like and then i take it out could you cash it before she would have time stop it so I did it. And so I gave it to them and then they ran it and, and it didn't clear, of course. When these scammers create a fake check, they'll use this this specific signature a lot. Why? Yeah, I figured that. So why? No, no, you didn't. Sorry, girl. Like, I'm not choosing this moment to believe that you figured something suspicious out of all of the other times. One of the main things that stood out to us from those chats is the picture of the lasagna he sent you. We actually found it in Martha Stewart's cookbook. So that's where it came from. Right. Pretty good at cooking. Oh my God. And I like the lasagna. That one too. <laughs> we come to the conclusion that you're speaking to what's called a romance scammer. He's basically morphing himself into this person that you want him to be. Why are my spirits telling me she still thinks it might be him? I hadn't told him anything about my toxic ex-husband and he just kind of been about that about him and his girlfriend's issues or whatever that's why i was like i'll kind of keep this as my ace in my pocket leaving your husband for dacre montgomery of stranger things fame is the ace in your pocket i've watched a lot of y'all scam fish episodes all the comments there's so many comments saying how could these people fall in love with these total strangers and send them money and blah blah that's me that's literally me right now making this video in my case i'm just like i just hope that it goes to help somebody send me money Help me. <laughs> what do you mean? She's trying to make it sound like this was charitable. Like, no, no, you got tricked. And now you're trying to back it up and say, well, I was just hoping that the money was at least helping someone. Well, yeah, it was helping some rando who was scamming you, girl. And he's probably scamming 30 other people. Love makes you do crazy, stupid, irrational things. And trauma does one heck of a thing to a person. 
That's true. So instead of judging that person on what, why they done that, you know, just kind of look and see if that person's ever been traumatized by something. I'm trying. Like that's, I've been spending this whole video trying to look at it from that angle, Michaela, trust me. But there are some things that I cannot overlook here and give you a free pass on, okay? I'm really sorry this happened. I feel like there's other ways to address those that don't involve you sending $10,000 to your favorite actor who is rich and has a girlfriend and is giving you honestly the worst cover-up story I could make up on my own. Honestly, I think you guys are great. It seems like you guys actually do your research, which is great. They didn't do anything you can do, girl. They reverse image searched a picture of lasagna and they Googled Stranger Things for episode titles. <laughs> I feel crazy. Sure couldn't do it. Yes, you could uh, have. The, yes, you could the have. The lasagna photo. I could not have found that. Now what? Because now it's like, it's, there's no longer any sort of wiggle room anywhere. Just try to stay safe, okay? we Will do. Michaela has blocked Dacre's fake profile and decided to take a break from the internet. Probably good choice. She wants to spend more quality time with her daughter. Our next step is getting her to report this scam by filing a police report. Right. Yes. So let's celebrate that. So at least in the end, she blocked and hopefully is filing a police report. I want to see an update on this. Hopefully we get one after this just blew up on the internet. 10,000 bucks in gift cards. Woo, buddy. 